testing. Hello, Hi, Tammy. Tammy. How are you doing, Tammy? <laughs> Sorry for bringing you all with the test. Can you hear us? It doesn't sound like it's fixed. Destination Space, it is official. We now know who will be the next Americans to go into space from American soil. That announcement made Friday morning. Nine men and women will fly on Boeing Starliner and SpaceX Dragon capsules, all part of NASA's commercial crew program. Test flights scheduled to begin in 2019. And joining us right now, five of the newly named astronauts, Chris Ferguson, Nicole Mann, Eric Bowe, Bob Binken and Doug Hurley. Congratulations to each and every one of you, and thank you for spending some time with us here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We want to start with this. Uh, you know, all of this sounds so romantic, the first Americans to fly in space again from American soil, but the reality is these are test flights, and it's pretty dangerous uh, what we're talking about. Chris, let's start with you. You're the commander of the last space shuttle mission, Atlantis, back in 2011. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, we're not quite ready yet. We have uh, we have a year of preparation to go. Uh, during that period of time, we'll uh, we'll re re uh, receive a lot of academic training. We're going to experience. Uh, we'll receive a lot of simulator training. But more importantly, we're going to spend a lot of time in the actual spacecraft that we will eventually uh, go into space in. So we've we've got a, a we've got a, a lot of water to go under the bridge still yet. Uh, but hey, this is a, it's a great time for America. Um, I know we're uh, we're in Orlando now, and uh, I'm sure that you you uh, regularly look out the window and watch uh, launches occur off the uh, off the space coast there, and uh, we're getting to the point right now. It's almost real. We love it, Chris. It's one of our favorite things to do here. Four of you I know had previous space experience with at least two shuttle flights under your belt. While you'll be headed to space. What are the big differences as we move forward with Starliner and Crew Dragon? Robert, uh, join in right now and tell us what you think. Well, I think I'm uh, uh, just really excited about this opportunity kind of going forward. And I, and I think the biggest difference that, that we're going to see, at least uh, Doug and I on the SpaceX capsule, is uh, landing in water. And so uh, coming back to the Florida coast after having launched from the Florida coast, I think that's an experience that uh, is just going to be very unique and uh, don't know exactly what to expect out of it, but uh, it's going to be something special about launching out of Florida again and then coming back to the Florida coast, just like we did with the, uh, the space shuttles in a slightly different way. Well, Nicole, this question is for you. This will be your first space flight. You were selected as an astronaut five years ago. What does this selection mean to you? Well, this is a very exciting today day today. It's just an incredible opportunity. I'm really looking forward uh, to flying Starliner and to starting the training and to becoming a part of the team. Uh, as a first flight into space and the first flight of a vehicle, I feel very fortunate for that. Obviously, I'm flying with Eric and, and Fergie, who have a wealth of experience. And so I'm looking forward to uh, learning as much as I can from both of them, not only during the training and development, but during our time in space and then applying that uh, to NASA when we get back home. Obviously, crew safety is going to be top of mind here. What kind of vehicle differences are we talking about with these new capsules as opposed to the days of the space shuttle? Eric, why don't you weigh in? Well, there's, there's some big differences. You know, the space shuttle had wings, so it, it uh, launched and came back and you landed with the capsules. We're going to come back and land uh, using parachutes. Uh, we have uh, w w the other thing that's really changed is the, the shuttle was built back in the 70s. And so now, you know, we have modern avionics going back into ships. So both ships have some new displays and a lot less switches, which is going to make it a lot easier to train and get ready for space flight. So we're looking forward to that. Don't have a lot of time here, but Doug, we'd love to know your thoughts. Uh, I think just like uh, the rest of the folks here, you know, I'm, a, I'm very excited to be part of this. Uh, we've got a lot of work left to do to fly next year. Uh, as Americans, uh, everybody watching this should be very proud of uh, these two companies and NASA uh, getting footing again, launching uh, vehicles from from Florida, from America, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you there for the launch. 
We will definitely see you all there. Five of NASA's newly named astronauts, again, Eric Bowe, Chris Ferguson, Nicole Mann, Bob Binkin, and Doug Hurley. Thank you all so very much. We are so honored to be able to speak with you. Good luck with your missions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.